Compare the properties of the isotopes of an element. Well, uh, the isotopes of an element have the same chemical properties, uh, but different physical properties. So let's look at some chemical properties. Now, don't forget chemical properties are to do with the protons and the electrons. That's what chemistry is all about. That's what I devoted my life to. Okay, so for example, the heat of combustion uh, for isotopes of a certain element or its reactivity with, I don't know, fluorine, that's going to be identical for isotopes of that element. But physical properties, well, don't forget, uh, we've added some neutrons if we're talking about isotopes, no charge, but it has mass. That's going to change the density, the mass, the melting point, the boiling point, and even the rate of diffusion, if it's a gas, how quickly the gas moves. Let's look at uh, an example here. So uranium has two main isotopes, uranium-235, nuclear bombs, and nuclear power stations. Only 0.7% of uranium. Glad it's not any more than that. And uranium-238, well, that's using armour, and ironically, in armour-piercing weaponry, uranium-238 is so-called a high-density penetrator. Well, you know what? Chemists can't set those apart. There's no chemical experiment that will split them up. The protons and electrons are the same. We have to rely on a physics teacher. A physical experiment. Chemically identical. Same number of protons, same number of electrons. But physically, they're different. Those no charge neutrons that have mass are going to change the physical property, the physics. So how do they split them up? Well, they turn them into a gas. And the U-235, being lighter, will diffuse further and faster than the U-238.